the first thing is that I think governments actually don't think outside the box. They almost have blinders on looking at the, looking at silos within the ICT industry. The, the ministry is looking at ICTs. The environment or waste ministry is looking at that. They don't actually cross-pollinate. So the opportunity for us as the ITU is to bring these players together and show them how there's actual synergy and this cluster that can be created to actually solve problems that can scale. An example of that is e-waste. That, that is in, in distinct silos. A lot of the UN agencies are now getting together to try and, and pro, let's say, create frameworks for governments to see how to do this. But I think if they bring in different stakeholders as well, that would be the people selling the recycled goods and those collecting it and those dumping it. All of the, the stakeholders will actually share their experiences and their frustrations. And this way, collectively, we'll be able to find more smarter ways of overcoming the problems and actually creating an uh, up and downstream flow of a win-win scenario with addressing the issues that the governments are trying to address with technology. I think that today, well, this being the last WISIS of you know, 2015, um, going forward for the sustainable development goals, we should now switch gears and actually bring together more interactive sessions with the ministers, with other ministers. We shouldn't just invite the IT ministers. Those enlightened ministers from different, let's say, the, the closest uh, ministries, education, health, and environment, bring them together and have some discussions with stakeholders and civil society because civil society will be able to shed light. So you actually show the world that you've transformed WISIS now to the next level, which is scaling globally and taking ICTs outside of the, the technological realm into the realm of the digital life and digital economy that we are all in.